passer le câble. Attends, aussi un, 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 un pointeur, sinon je le, je, le, je le mets comme ça. Ouais, ouais, je crois qu'on a un pointeur. Avec ça, tu peux. Ça va là <rire> bah, Si ça suffit, moi ça me va comme ça, mais. Euh... Bon, ok. <rire> comme ça, c'est bon. Ok, so. Um, We are going to, so this is joint work with uh, Kenji Maya, and uh, we are going to talk about uh, subtyping uh, inside proof assistance. So most of you should know what subtyping is, but just as a reminder, uh, uh, you can think of it as some kind of, well, not exactly inclusion, but it means that when uh, you have um, some element of a type, let's say A0, Uh, it's also an element of uh, type A1. This means that uh, A0 is a subtype of A1. Or at least if it's not an element, you have like some canonical way of transporting it. It's called a cohesion. Um, so example of subtyping include uh, record subtyping. Uh, it's when you can forget about uh, some field of a record. Um, you also have uh, refinement types <coughs> when, you, uh, when you have a type that is refined by a property. You can forget about the property and you still have the, like, like you can transport the value to the, the original type. Uh, and uh, here we are particularly interested in uh, what is sometimes called structural subtyping. Uh, that is when the, the argument, the subtyping on the argument of a type constructor induce a subtyping on the type constructor uh, fully applied. For example, uh, for list. <coughs> so <coughs> when you think about the intuition I give before, you I gave before, you expect that when uh, when a is a sub a zero is a subtype of a one, um, then you can pointwise transport each element of the list, and then list of a zero is a subtype of list a one. But uh, it's not always the case that this uh, transport goes. Um, let's say left to right. Uh, for example, if you look at function types, uh, on the argument of the function, the subtyping is said to be contravariant. It goes uh, the other way. This is why uh, in uh, many uh, programming languages like OCaml or Scala, when you want to do st structural subtyping, you introduce uh, what is called polarities. That is some uh, annotation on type constructors to tell you uh, in which direction you should go for subtyping. Um, now, uh, we, we are interested in proof assistants. Uh, so proof assistants have a, as a base uh, theory which is uh, usually a variant of Martin Love type theory, which is a type theory with dependent types. So we, you have at least uh, dependent functions. Uh, a type of types, which is called the universe. Usually you have uh, many universes. And uh, also you have computation in types, which means that cohesions can also appear in types. So you, you have to deal with that when you're defining your, uh, your type system. Um, and in theory with uh, dependent types and, uh, and subtyping, uh, people are willing to, yeah, I mean, are requesting uh, structural subtyping. For example, you have this uh, F star GitHub issue that uh, goes back from uh, 2014, and it's, it is still, uh, <coughs> like, it's still not implemented because uh, you have, when you want to extend uh, dependent type theory for a proof assistant, you have to care about the meta theory. You have to prove that you preserve the consistency, maybe you want disability of type checking or other meta theory. Um, so there, there has been some work on uh, polarities in dependent type theory, um, directed type series. Um, so there, there are uh, at least two uh, things I'm aware of. The work uh, from Uh, 2011 by Liketa and Harper, and uh, uh, work uh, from 2015 by uh, uh, Newt. And uh, the thing is, these uh, lines of work uh, give you um, judgments that are uh, 
like new forms of judgments that are quite different from what you find in my love type theory. Uh, so we take insp inspiration from that, but uh, we try to um, restrict as much as possible uh, the differences uh, with the usual Martin Love type theory to be able to um, provide something that is uh, uh, usable as an extension of uh, existing uh, proof assistant. So um, we introduce uh, what we call MLTT sub, which is just regular uh, Martin Love type theories plus a judgment for subtyping and polarized judgments that are inspired from the directed type, theory, type theories, but that won't, that will only be used uh, to uh, provide information on how to subtype uh, inductive type constructors. But it, they, these judgments won't be interleaving with the whole uh, type theory. And for example, from these two judgments, we should be able to, um, to derive that the, the list will, will also be a uh, subtype. Uh, so how do we uh, convince ourselves that our theory will be, we'll have all the, the meta theory that we want? We construct a model in, uh, in the clock proof assistant and we use the technique of uh, universes of codes and decoding function. So we built a type for, um, for our types um, and we built the subtyping relation and then from that we, we construct a coercion function and the whole point is that this way we can compute on the types, that is the, the a coercion from uh, one type to another only depends on, on the two n types. So we can um, by case kind of uh, construct for each uh, for each subtype um, witness uh, the proper coercion, and this allows us to have a unique coercion between two types and um, some kind of coherence property for the for the subtyping. Uh, and then, how do we um, construct the coercion on uh, on sub on inductive types? Uh, so. How, wh what do we do with this kind of judgments? Uh, here we use um, parametricity, uh, some parametric trans parametricity translation on the list. Uh, so this will give you uh, something that preserves relation. So if we have a relation on the argument type, then we will have a relation on the list. And the point is that uh, with our polarities annotation, we will be able to refine this relation in some way and to get that if the argument of a uh, list, the relation that is given on the argument of list is functional, then we are able to, to construct a functional relation uh, on list. And so this means that if with some up to uh, considering that functions and functional relation are equivalent, this will give me, when I give uh, this parametricity on list a function that is a coercion from A0 to A1. This will build me a uh, coercion from list A0 to list A1. Um, so to conclude, uh, I have a, also a little disclaimer, so this is, this is a work in progress, but uh, I present a um, a variant of Martin Love type theory, which is as close as possible to uh, regular Martin Love type theory, but uh, which features uh, dependent, uh, I mean, but we, uh, features uh, structural subtyping uh, with polarities annotation restricted only to inductive types. Um, and the, the goal of that is to be able to extend existing and established proof assistant uh, with as little uh, modification as possible. And as future work, we hope to be able to uh, mechanize uh, this um, extension uh, on top of the, the Metacoc uh, environment.
Uh, your work looks to me a bit like a directed version of the observational type theory stuff that was presented two talks ago. Could you comment on that? Um, it is indeed uh, very similar. Um, I guess the main difference be being that we use uh, directed... Uh, yeah, it, it, this is basically what you said. This is similar because the observational uh, type theory uh, use, uh, use um, the same kind of encoding uh, of uh, universe to be able to compute on the... Um, to, but to provide a, an equivalence or an equality and we are using it to compute a cohesion. But this is basically the, the same ideas. We, we actually take in inspiration from what they do. Um, I have another follow-up question on this. So in the, usually in the cumulativity setting in, in the COG, for instance, the, the interesting part is that that generates that, that makes your, your subtyping non-trivial is that you have coercions between universes going up in the hierarchy. And how does this look like in your setting? Like when you're subtyping like type one into type two, something like this, what do you do? Um, so this is a tricky question because the cumulativity is a bit of a weird kind of subtyping. But what we hope to be able to do is to consider, uh, if, is to make it work by considering everything uh, one uh, universe up. So if you want to uh, subtype between, uh, let's say, type 0 and type 1, you, you, you go to type 2, and there you have type 0 as an element and type 1 as an element, and you build a function from type 0 to type 1. Okay. Uh, can, you, can you comment a bit more on the restriction of, of uh, subtyping to inductives and not uh, any type in particular function type? Uh, so, sorry, can you uh, repeat? If it works. Yeah. Um, so, so you, if I understand, you're restricting the polarity in subtyping to uh, to uh, inductive types. Yeah. So, can you comment a bit more on why you need this restriction? Because it, uh, it it seems probably na naively it seems a bit uh, violent to pro prohibit uh, uh, the definition for functions and so on. So it's kind of. Oh, okay, it's not obvious that you, you it's not, actually it's not even, um, so it's a practical restriction basically, because when you uh, check polarities on uh, your inductive, uh, because you have uh, terms and types in your inductive definition, you are basically, uh, it's almost like you, you need, you, 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 could, uh, you could have your whole theory basically. So when, when checking polarities, you, you indeed have uh, basically all the power of directed type theories. Uh, but the thing is, uh, when you when you want um, so th there is a first distinction that is that our polarities are second class. So uh, we uh, as much as possible. We don't have like an internalized notion of uh, order, uh, of order type, of uh, monotonic function, and that kind of stuff. Uh, but we could also um, think about uh, top-level definitions being polarized, at least. Like you could have, uh, uh, in the same way, you could have an inductive declaration that is polarized. You could have a, a top-level definition that is polarized. Uh, but the thing is just that, from a user point of view. Uh, what you want is structural subtyping, so it's usually on your new type that you are ha yet that you are defining. So we are trying to restrict to the, the smallest possible practical use, in some way. Okay, so let's uh, thank the speaker again.